ChatGPT is great and has revolutionized the world, but it has a huge problem. It's controlled by a single entity. If OpenAI or maybe Microsoft decides, they can pull the plug and remove access for everyone. Obviously, this is about as beneficial to them as a chocolate teapot so it's unlikely, but they have limited functionality before. For those used to the prior functionality, it was like going to the buffet and finding the dessert section blocked off. They also charge $20 a month for GPT-4, which can be steep, and the cherry on top Every time you use ChatGPT, you're feeding OpenAI your data, which is especially bad for companies with sensitive information. The solution is GPT for all, which is a free to use, locally running, and privacy aware chatbot. No GPU or internet is required because its models run locally on your CPU. A GPT for all model is a three to eight gigabyte file that you can download and plug into the software. It's actually really easy to do and there are over 30 to choose from. If you're feeling adventurous, you can even train your own. All right, I have the application running locally on my machine and you can see that I do not have an internet connection enabled. I have no connections right now. And these are all the available models. So we have Hermes, which is the most powerful one but it requires 16 gigabytes of RAM, which my machine does not have. I only have 15.93 gigabytes of RAM, but GPT-4 All Falcon is the best overall smaller model, and that's what I'm going to use. It only requires eight gigabytes of RAM. There are also plenty of other models if you scroll down and you can even show more models and you can even add your own models like I mentioned before. What's funny is that they have a way to access ChatGPT itself with ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo and ChatGPT4 if you enter your own OpenAI API key, but to me that kind of defeats the purpose. So let's use GPT for all Falcon. Okay, let's first try generating a poem. So generate a nice poem about fireworks. So it's generating the response. Fireworks light up the sky, dazzling display for all to see, bright colors and loud sounds, captivating, mesmerizing, oh so grand. You know, it's a little bit slower than ChatGPT, but it's pretty good. I mean, it's not a bad poem at all. And I'm sure with Hermes, it would get a better result. Okay, let's try generating a website. So here's HTML code for a web page with a header navigation bar. And you can see it actually is generating the code with a similar format as ChatGPT. So far, it looks pretty legit to me. It seems that it is asking us to add our own CSS styles here. So not quite what I wanted. Okay, it's done. This code creates a web page with a header navigation bar and a section for displaying information about dogs. Let's say, please provide some nice CSS styles. And here's some sample CSS code for the web page with a header navigation bar. It's funny that it kept <laughs> add your own CSS styles at the top. I would expect it to get rid of that. I think ChatGPT would get rid of that, but it is providing the CSS here. Finally, let's ask for some funny jokes. Here are three jokes for you. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. What do you call a fake noodle? Impasta. How does a chicken get into a bank vault? It uses its beak to open the door. The coolest thing about all of this is that I was not connected to the internet at all this whole time and it worked. What's also really cool is that you can integrate any of the models into your apps. For example, with Python, all you do is import the GPT for all library, instantiate the model, then generate. This could be a really easy way to develop chatbots. I wish I could try the best model, so I guess it's time for me to upgrade my poor old computer.